The head of our state, Ilham Aliyev, First Lady Mehriban Aliyev, and their daughter, Leila Aliyev, visited the statue of the nationwide leader, Hidar Aliyev, erected in the city center of Shaki, and laid flowers in front of the monument. One of the specific characteristics of the political course of the Azerbaijani state is to never postpone the priorities and define targets. We have observed that clearly both during the restoration of our territorial integrity, throughout the pandemic and during the post-conflict period. So far, four state programs on the social and economic development of the regions covering 2004 and 2008, 2009 and 2013, 2014, 2018 and 2019, 2023 were adopted. From 2004 until 2018, when the first three programs were implemented, GDP grew by 3.3 times, including on the non-oil sector by 2.8 times, on the industry by 2.6 times, and on the agriculture by 1.7 times. The statistical indicators of Shaki create optimism for the future. In comparison with 2003 in 2021, the product output grew by 3.6 times, the volume of industrial production by 11.3 times, the volume of agricultural production by 2.3 times, and the volume of construction works by 32.3 times. This is President Ilham Aliyev's 11th visit to Shaki. The old Shaki part of Gara Maryam Ismaili Shaki Highway was commissioned after the reconstruction. The highway with the overall length of 47.2 kilometers connects more than 10 residential settlements by passing through the administrative territory of the two regions. The implementation of this project will provide for convenient movement of not only Oghuz and Sheki city residents, but also of all the citizens together with those who live in the villages situated alongside the road. At the same time, it will provide positive impact on the development of agriculture and tourism. <music> The dry food production enterprise of Green Factory LLC established in Urtazayzid village of Sheki region covers an area of 100 hectares. More than 55,000 fruit trees brought from France, Italy and Turkey were planted in the area. The logistical center operates in the territory of the enterprise and this center includes nine freezers with the overall volume of 1,000 cubic meters, drying equipment with a daily production capacity of 3 tons, assortment and packaging equipment with the capacity of 5 tons per hour. There are 38 permanent and 120, 150 seasonal workers employed in the enterprise. The concessional loan in the amount of 2.5 million manats was taken from the Entrepreneurship Development Fund to establish this enterprise with the overall value of 7.5 million manats. The new premises of Sheki City Executive Power meets all the modern standards. The four-story new building is an important infrastructure project that will contribute to raise the quality of work of employees of the executive power. İzbati binada 56 nəfərlik konferans salı, 164 nəfərlik akt salı mövcud. The restoration works in the historical Sheki Khan Mosque kicked off since May of 2021 and were implemented by the Hidar Ali Foundation. 
Along with the restoration works, the Hidayat Ali Foundation also provided support to the conduction of research on the skeleton samples discovered during the excavations and assumed to belong to a family of Sheki Khan. It should be noted that the restoration works on the territory of the mosque complex are done based on the design prepared by the University of Architecture and Construction based on the order of State Tourism Agency. The mosque, which is included in the list of monuments of nationwide significance, dates back to the period of Khanates. According to the historical data and inscriptions on the mosque, the mosque was built by Haji Muhammad Hussein Khan. The main 13 graves in the cemetery situated next to the mosque belong to the representatives of the Khan family. Since only members of the Khan family were buried in the cemetery, it is called Khan Cemetery. Within the framework of the restoration work launched by the Hidar Ali Foundation in 2021, 3D measurement works were carried out in Khan Mosque Complex. Afterwards, based on the photos of 1961, restoration of the internal and external facades was implemented. According to the design, wedding, funeral hall, ablution room, and administrative rooms were created. The ancient entrance gate and the stairs of the mosque were also restored. Also, the tombstones in the Khan Cemetery situated to the south of the mosque were restored. The discovery of 52 beads and a bronze rosary head from the tomb discovered as part of the restoration works in the mosque led to the assumption that the buried person was a person of high religious or state status. Based on these assumptions, as well as guided by the information about the burial of Shaki Khan Muhammad Hussein Khan Mushtaq under the mihrab of the Khan Mosque found in the notes of the prominent literary scholar Salman Mumtaz, the verifications based on these findings were carried out. Based on the discovered skeleton samples and samples taken from other graves belonging to the Khan dynasty in the mosque area, research and genetic tests conducted by Oxford University of Great Britain, including those carried out in Austria, Estonia and Turkey, as well as based on the scientific conclusion of the Institute of Archaeology, Ethnography and Anthropology of the National Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Azerbaijan, it has been confirmed that the discovered grave belongs to Khan Muhammad Hussein Khan. A museum was also established in the territory of the mosque complex with the support of the Hidar Ali Foundation. The museum presents different exhibits from the period of the Sheki Khanate, material and cultural samples collected from various sources. The museum displays the special place of the creation and formation of the Sheki Khanate in the history of our national statehood. On the first floor of the museum, which consists of two floors, kappa vessels, national costumes, jewelry belonging to the period of the Sheki Khanate, wall mirrors decorated the houses of Sheki merchants in the 18th century, jewelry boxes placed in front of them according to the Sheki tradition, examples of the art of Sheki Kalagai are exhibited. The electronic board displayed on the first floor of the museum conveys information about the history of the Sheki Khanate, the political, social and economic life of the Khanate, its culture and some data about Sheki Khans. On the second floor, samples of Sheki carpets, different carpentry accessories, historical book by Abdul Latif Afandi titled History of Sheki Khans, and literature and samples of weapons dating back to the time of Sheki Khanate are demonstrated. One of the major parts of the museum is the Khan's room situated on the second floor. This room vividly demonstrates that Sheki Khan Muhammad Hussein Khan Mushtaq prayed in this room, organized literary gatherings, and different receptions here. The flag of the Sheki Khanate used in the 18th century and the battle flag of Sheki Khan Salim Khan are also on display here. Music